Hi guys, I'm Shannon from Extreme Fly, and in this uh, tying clip, uh, I'm going to do a basic clouser. This is the one fly that I would always have in my kit uh, for a lot of species. There wouldn't be many species that wouldn't um, eat one of these. Such a great fly designed over in America from uh, by Bob Clouser. Uh, world-renowned um, fly and it's the basic recipe for a fly that rides hook up so these dumbbells tied on top of the hook when it sinks it will be going sinking down like that and the wing material is covering that hook facing up so when you're fishing it um, you can fish it down on the bottom and let it hit the bottom and then make it come up like a prawn or a wounded bait fish. You can also use it for chasing pelagic fish. It's a, a great pattern, um, all round pattern. So one fly that I'd have in uh, my kit. So this is one type and this is done with buck tail uh, and it's white belly, tan top. Any flats fishermen should have one of these in the kit. Uh, so many different species on the flats will chase and eat it but today what I'm going to do I'm going to tie one with a synthetic material uh, synthetic are more robust than the, the natural so and you'll you'll um, most people have been just tying with the synthetics the hook I'm going to use today is a, uh, a Gemagatsu um, SL12S these are another world-renowned hook, proven, tried and tested and proven uh, from catching your small estuary to, to giant game fish. So these are a great hook. I like them because they're a wide gape and they're rel relatively light, but has got the strength into it. So I'm using a 1.0 today. So we'll put the hook in. The thread I'm using is just a um, 210 denier um, flat wax thread put into my bobbin. So just going to tie the thread down onto the hook. Just making a nice base for the, the eyes. I'll just snip that. So with this fly it's a good idea to know what fish you're going to be chasing. Uh, what you're going to imitate depends on the color, the material, um, and the weight. And that also uh, depends on the depth. So if I was fishing shallow water, I'd be having um, bead chain eyes on, okay? Um, that will just sink down and won't give too much and um, are, are perfect for that. Then you've got your your brass eyes and your lead eyes, and if you really want to go deep, then your tungsten eyes. So today, what I'm going to do is tie with these brass ones, and I'm going to place it and give myself enough room from the hook uh, the hook eye to the dumbbell so I can stack the hair or stack the material. I'm going in between the, the dumbbells to secure it down. And then I'm going to go around the base of it. Going around the base just locks those eyes into place. Okay, I'll just give it a quick half hitch. And then what I also will do, I've got this um, Loon UV Clear Flow. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that onto that material, that thread that I've just tied. Let it soak in for um, a few seconds. And then I'll put the UV light on. Do that for 10 or so seconds to set it. That just gives a little bit extra um, durability, okay? So with these flies, you can actually 
Um, you can put rubber legs, you can put shrimp eyes, you can put um, braided um, diamond braid around the body to make like an egg sack. It's a base recipe, so you can leave it up to your own imagination of what you want to tie. And that's the great thing about fly fishing because you can look at something and if you know a recipe for a basic fly, you'll be able to tie multiple different um, uh, flies to target different fish. So what I just did, I, I'm using the um, St uh, Steve Farrah Flash Blend. There's multiple different synthetic hairs out there. It'll, you'll go crazy if you try and get them all. You won't have enough room. But all very, very good. Have a good look. This has got a nice bit of flash. So I took a whole section. I've cut it in half. And then what I'm going to do is bind it down onto the hook like that. And I'm going to get my length that I want. I'll just pull that through a little bit because then that will give me my taper for that first part of the fly. I fold it back over and tie the material just like that. See how neat that is? There's nothing hanging over, no little um, tags from excess material. It just folds it back. So this one here is a just a base color and it's a base color that I always have in my kit. I'll take a little bit of this silver flash. So this silver flash, what this will do, it is um, the lateral lines of the fish, okay? I am going to do the same. I've cut, there's four strands there. Double it over. You can see that it's doubled over on, on here. And I'll bring it up, hold it up the top to make it in the middle, and then just bind over the top of that okay take it back to the base of those eyes we can trim that if we need to later so just like that tan um, bucktail I'm actually going to use a shrimp color in the um, Steve Farrer uh, UV shrimp as well okay just getting a small amount I'm going to double it over just like I did before cut there see how we've got it cut straight along we don't want that so I'm going to loosely grab it with this this finger here and then just tease it out with your other hand so that gives you a taper okay I'm going to place it onto the top so we're stacking it on top of each other at the moment so what I'll do now is just pull it up I want a separation in color Just move it along just a little bit until I get my desired length. Fold that back. And as I said, it's you're doing that and you're tapering the actual the bait fish profile or the shrimp profile, whatever you, you're tying. That's a good thing with this fly, because you can be fishing to pelagic fish that are chasing um, bait fish. And then on the flats, along comes a golden trevally or um, a queen fish or anything like that, or anything chasing shrimps. And you could throw this, imitate it differently by your retrieve, and it could be a shrimp. Um, so what I just did then was quickly whip finished it, cut it off. So now I'm going to get that UV clear again. Uh, in the flow and I'll put a little bit on on that thread again just to seal it all off just like that I'll let it soak in with this um, the Loon Outdoors they come in some really cool colors you got hot green hot pink and hot orange I like these you don't have to use too much of it but you can put little dots um, on your fly and they could be a a trigger for fish to bite so a lot of people will use your your pinks and your orange for shrimp imitations and um, 
the green, I like the green around the head with certain, chasing certain, certain fish on flats, because that green um, I find is a little bit of a trigger, and that's why I've got green on these dumbbells here. Um, yeah, just a, a good little tip there. So that's soaked in enough. I'm going to hit the torch. So this is, as I said, this is just a basic one, but everyone should have this. I'll just take him out from that. So if you have a look, that's, that's a pretty cool little profile. Nice colors, nice flash. You don't have to go too crazy with the flash, but that there will catch most of your fish. So that's a basic clouser. Um, I'm on uh, YouTube as this will be on uh, Instagram and Facebook. If you have any questions, um, please jump on, send me a question. I'm more than happy to, um, to reply. Um, and happy tying, give it, go out, give it a go. And until next time, I'll catch you then.